Hey boys and girls, what do you think of our brand new video series? Germany versus Bangladesh. In today's first episode, you all know what we have to compare. A Bangladeshi bus versus a German bus. So now, I'm in Munich, Germany, and I booked a trip to Nuremberg, which is about 150 kilometers away from each other. And obviously, I booked that trip on purpose, because in Bangladesh, we will go from Cox Bazar to Shitagong. And these cities are also round about 150 kilometers away from each other. So we can not only compare how the buses look like and how the bus drivers are driving, but we can also check how long it takes and in which country we arrive earlier at our destination. <laughs> okay, this is the German bus. I paid around 15 euros, like 2,000 taka. And now I will show you what it looks like from the outside and from the inside, obviously. <laughs> this is the bus. <laughs> I'm not an expert, but I would say it's quite normal. Yes, sir. There's a toilet on the bus. Doesn't matter what you're thinking of German buses, but we got a toilet. Doesn't matter how it smells, really bad. But have you ever seen a toilet on a Bangladeshi bus? I don't think so, man. Is this working? No. Yep. What do you think? Quite comfy, yeah? The seats are pretty nice. You even have a USB plug and you even have a power plug, and I think it's working. You also have a lot of nice features in Bangladeshi buses, but <laughs> normally they're never working. <laughs> I went with so many buses the last years in Bangladesh, I will show you a little best of, not only the ride from Cox Bazaar to Shitagong. Okay, but we all know what you guys and girls want to see, the driving. So, fasten your seatbelts and enjoy. On the top left corner, you can see the German or Bangladeshi flag, so you always know which bus it is. But I'm pretty sure you don't need the flag to find out which bus it is. <laughs> We're leaving, come on! He's chilling so hard. <laughs> Sleeping, watching videos, dying. In German buses, I feel like a Bangladeshi because driving on the autobahn. Look at this beautiful countryside. How can I enjoy it? The only thing you do is holding, holding on the bar. That's your only mission. Basically, no holes in the street. It's flat. It's quiet, it's very chilled. <laughs> Here I got no problem to sleep. Hey, hey, TMG. Hey, TMG. So you're driving this route for 25 years? 25 years. And how many accidents did you have? <laughs> two. Three Only two accidents. Only two accidents. <laughs> so you might have realized by now, driving a German bus is fucking boring. <laughs> so better, we go back to Bangladesh. Eh? I think he said fuck off.
Okay guys, what should I tell you? It's a chilled ride. We're driving like 100 kilometers per hour. There's no traffic. So our 150 kilometers in total should take us like one and a half hours. And yeah, basically all you can do is enjoy the landscape. forgot to tell you the best thing so basically it's super hot it's 29 degrees even in germany it's super hot but in the bus it's like uh, 15 20 let's say 20 degrees ac is working <laughs> my bangladeshi fellow brothers and sisters i have to tell you everything here in the bus is working this is a chilling bus man but it's like pretty packed so it's yeah. just a local bus huh? yeah, it's a local this is bus. no inna this is no shamuli this is not one of those crazy companies this is the good old local bus, right? Yeah. There's no space, you're sweating, it smells like shit. No, it doesn't smell really good because everybody's sweating. Oh, and you know another thing? Basically, all of the big cities in Germany are connected with a highway, like with a big highway, with our autobahn. You barely drive with the bus on like those only one line streets where the buses have to overtake to get faster. You never really have that. So all those crazy overtaking action you get in Bangladesh, you don't have here, you, you can't have here. <laughs> Okay, we made it and we are alive and we chilled. <laughs> they drive like this. Uh, it's crazy. But they go super crazy, man. Uh, and they're always overtaking non stop. Too old. <laughs> Terrible. We made it, we are alive, we are chilled and the bus ride took us about one and a half hours while the Bangladeshi bus ride took us like at least four to five hours. Ah, so my conclusion, if you want to have a roller coaster ride while having a near death experience, then you want to choose the Bangladeshi bus. But if you want to have a f***ing bus ride, literally a bus ride, what the name says, then you want to take the German bus. So let me know in the comments in which country you will prefer to take a bus and obviously what we should compare next. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, do it right now. I mean, I risk my life in the German bus for you. See you in the next one.